school was always a get acquainted day, books were passed out, and there was a lot of chatter. Everyone asked, what did you do over the summer? Periods one through six went by smoothly for Nick. But then came period seven. Mrs. Granger's class was all business. The first thing they did was take a vocabulary pretest to see how many of the 35 words for the week the kids already knew. Tremble, circular, orchestra. The list went on and on. Nick knew most of them. Then there was a handout about the class procedures. After that, there was a review paper about cursive writing. And then there was a sample sheet showing how the heading would, should, should look on an assignment. No let up for, no let up for 37 minutes straight. Nick was an expert at asking the delaying questions, also known as a teacher stopper, or a guaranteed time waster. At three minutes before the bell, in that split second between the end of today's classwork and the announcements of tomorrow's homework, Nick could launch a question guaranteed to sidetrack the teacher long enough to delay or even wipe out the homework assignment. Timing was important, but asking the right question, that was the hard part. Questions about stuff in the news, questions about college the teacher went to, questions about the teacher's favorite book or sports or hobby. Nick knew all the tricks, and he had been very successful in the past. Here he was in fifth grade, near the end of his first language arts class with Mrs. Granger, and Nick could feel a homework assignment coming that way a farmer could feel a rainstorm. Mrs. Granger paused to catch her breath, and Nick's hand shot up. She glanced down at the seating chart and then at him. Her sharp gray eyes were not even turned up to his halt power. Yes, Nicholas? Mrs. Granger, you have so many dictionaries in this room, and that huge one especially. Where did all those words come from? Did they get copied from other dictionaries? It sure is a big book. It was a perfect thought grenade. Kapow! Several kids smiled and few peeked at the clock. Nick was famous for this, and the whole class knew what he was doing. Unfortunately, so did Mrs. Granger. She hesitated for a moment, and she gave Nick a smile that was too sweet to be real. Her eyes were the color of a thundercloud. Why, what an interesting question, Nicholas. I could talk about that for hours, I bet. She glanced around the classroom. Do the rest of you want to know, too? Everyone nodded. Well, then, Nicholas, will you do some research on the subject and give a little oral report to the class? If you can find out the answer yourself, it will mean so much more than if I told you. Please have your report ready for the next day. Mrs. Granger smiled at him again, very sweetly. Then it was back to business. Now the homework for tomorrow can be found on page 12 of your Words Alive book. Nick barely heard the assignment. His heart was pounding. He felt small, very small. He could feel the tops of his ears glowing red. A complete shutdown, an extra assignment, and probably a little black mark next to his name on the seating chart. Everything he had heard about his teacher was true. Don't mess around with the loan. R Granger.